All right, you beautiful Python developers, welcome to this new video series in which we'll be using natural language processing, which is the art of extracting information from text. And it's also known as NLP in short. And we'll be using this natural language processing to analyze emotions and sentiments of a given text or an essay. So if it's a sad essay, we'll be able to tell whether the emotion present in that essay is sad or not, or whatever different emotions are in that text. And after completing this video series, you'll be able to analyze different emotions present in an essay or text like sadness, happiness, jealousy, and other emotions. And you'll also be able to find out the dominant emotion in the text. So for example, if a text is about how you met your long lost brother, then it's a happy emotion. And you'll be able to tell that the dominant emotion, obviously there'll be other emotions inside that essay or text, but the dominant emotion will be happiness. So you'll also be able to find out this emotion. And then thirdly, you'll be able to plot these emotions on a graph. So a particular essay or a big amount of text contains a lot of emotions. And you'll be able to plot all of these emotions on a graph according to how much these emotions are occurring. And fourthly, you'll be able to tell whether the whole text is a positive or a negative emotion. If a text contains too much of sadness, mostly it's a negative emotion. And if it contains a lot of good words, then it's a happy emotion or a positive sentiment. So this positive or negative thing is known as the sentiment and emotions are like sad, sadness, happiness and jealousy, etc. And lastly, you'll also be able to scrap tweets with a hashtag and find out the public opinion on that hashtag. For example, you can search for hashtag Donald Trump and find out whether that emotion is associated with a positive or a negative sentiment. It doesn't matter like whether it's positive or negative, but you'll be able to find out uh, on given any hashtag. For example, you can even search for hashtag New York and see whether the people are talking about positive things about New York or negative things about New York. So firstly, we are going to be doing all the natural language processing and sentiment analysis on our own without using any of the external libraries or packages so that you guys properly understand the concepts of NLP and then we can go on to use the NLTK library to shorten our works. If you don't know what NLTK library, it's basically a very famous library for natural language processing which we will cover in the future videos. So from the next video, we'll start with installing Python and PyCharm. If you already have it installed, you can just go on to the next video and you don't need to use PyCharm. You can use an editor of your own choice, but I use PyCharm and if you want to follow along, you can also install the same. But anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video where we will start our natural language processing journey. So I'll see you over there.